Ah, don't touch that dial. Listen to... Blondie! Yes, it's time again for Blondie, starring Penny Singleton as Blondie and Arthur Lake as Dagwood Bumstead. The Bumsteads of Shady Lane Avenue. J.C. Dithers Construction Company hopes to land a contract for building a modern airport at Sheridan City. And Dagwood and Mr. Dithers are in Sheridan City to meet with Roger Blunt, president of the company, which will award the contract. Blondie has gone along with them, and right now they're all in a hotel room where Dagwood is preparing some final figures. Mr. Dithers seems to be a little nervous. Let's see. The estimate calls for 3,000 cubic feet of... And add this to the other figure, which gives me... What is it, J.C.? For heaven's sake, stop that yelling. I wasn't yelling. I was just mumbling. Well, mumble a little more distinctly and a lot quieter. You're driving me nuts. Oh, now, Mr. Dithers, surely you're joking. Blondie, I said he was driving me nuts, and he is driving me nuts. <laughs> now, are you convinced? I'll be convinced when you learn to do that and bite your fingernails at the same time. What fingernails? See? My nerves are all tangled up like a bucket full of eels. I can't help it. This job is either going to the Dithers Company or the Goliath Company. And Berger and Goliath would do anything to snaffle that contract. Hey, now look here, Mr. What do you want? Yeah, oh, oh, my. Can you be a little quieter, please? I'll oh. never get these figures done. All right, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, 10, uh, 20, mm, 27. Oh, say. Uh, what do you mean, 10, 20? Are you adding a 9 and an 8 like they were both 10s? Sure, it's the uh, Bumstead system of simplified addition. <laughs> Dagwood always does that, Mr. Dithers. Yeah. He counts nines and eights as tens and keeps track of the difference. Mm. Then when he gets to the bottom of the column, he subtracts that from the total. Yeah. It's very simple, isn't it? <laughs> well, 
My goodness, what's the matter, Mr. Dithers? Something you ate? No, it's your husband. That's something I hate. (laughs) Dagwood, how long have you been doing this sort of thing to the Dithers Company? Oh, for years. No wonder I've never made any money. Hmm? All this time, you've been sabotaging me with that booby hatch arithmetic. Now, Mr. Gitters, put down that flower vase. Yeah, now, if you're in that kind of a mood, why don't you just jump out the window? That's a good idea. I think I will. Huh? Step aside, please. Now, now, wait a minute. All right, here's where I take over. Mr. Gitters, you and I are going out for a little walk around town while Dagwood finishes his work here. Uh-huh. It's 12 minutes of 2, and your meeting with Roger Blunt isn't until 3.30. So you see, there's plenty of time. Yeah, and I'll probably be through by the time you get back. Okay. But I can't help worrying about Berger. He's sure to try some stunt to keep me away from that meeting. Come on, Mr. Dithers. I wish I knew what he had up his sleeve. It's probably just his elbow. Ha, <laughs> ha, oh, oh. Okay, Mr. Berger. What do I do to get that 20 bucks now? It's very simple, Punchy. Yeah. See that man and woman in the next block? Walking this way? I do, uh, yeah, but I don't see too well. I... Hey, that's a cute little dame. Goodbye, Mr. Berger. Wait a minute, Punchy. I... Oh. That man is Mr. Dithers. And when he gets here, you bump into him. Oh, boy. Then I slug him, huh? No, no. You insult him until he slugs you. Oh, okay. And then I slug him, huh? Hey. No, you don't slug him at all, you jab, happy jerk. Oh, uh, gee whiz. You call a policeman and have Dithers arrested for assault and battery. That'll keep him occupied while I attend to a little business. And you get the $20 when I see Dithers at the police station. Oh, I, I get the... Oh, okay, Mr. Boyd. I'll duck back into the doorway here. Remember, don't hit him. Make him hit you. Oh, hit him. Yeah. Oh, boy. 20 bucks. Well, here they come. Well, Mr. Dithers, I was sure I saw Mr. Berger looking around the corner. I've had nightmares about that slick operator ever since this job came up. And... Oof, oh, 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 dear. Archie. Smile when you say that. <laughs> What's the idea of bumping in a total stranger, huh? Eh? Now, don't get tough with me, Roscoe. Or I'll tuck your ears under your collar. I dare you to take off that false face and say that. Uh, Mr. Dithers, let's go. You don't want any trouble. Just a minute. False face, huh? Well, don't tell me that thing you got on is real. Okay, you ask for it. Mr. Diggers, don't. Hold you. I'll teach you a few minutes. Hold you. Oh, oh, economy size more. Oh. oh, well, I guess I've taken enough. Help! Police! I saw batteries, police! Mr. Diggers, quick, let's get out of here. I saw Mr. Burger coming out of the doorway. Come on, let's get into that cab. Holy smoke. He's trying to frame me with assault and battery. Uh, police, murder, ice crash. Now, he'll have you in a police station and you'll never get to that meeting. Come on, driver, get going. Oh, boy, Blondie. I'm glad to be back in the hotel again. It looked bad for a minute. Isn't the room Dad was working in down this hall? Yes. You know, another thing, Mr. Dithers, that man didn't hit you back. And he had colossal ears. He didn't get those from sleeping on a hard pillow. You're right, Blondie, I've been framed. And there'll probably be a policeman up here for me any minute now. I'll never make that meeting. Mr. Dithers! I'm innocent! I never touched him! And besides, my name isn't Dithers... Oh, oh, it's only Ken Niles. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Niles. Hello, Blondie. Well, what are you doing over here in Sheridan City? Well, I had to make a little address before the Women's Good Government and Civic Advancement Club. Oh. Yeah, well, so long, folks. So long, Mr. Niles. So long. Well, let's see if Dagwood has a suggestion of how to get out of this mess. I don't know what to do. Mr. Blunt will be expecting me, as president of the Dithers Company, to show up at his office. <laughs> no, I know just what we could do. Oh. But I guess we'd better not. Oh, quick, Blondie, what is it? Well, we could frame Dagwood. Make the police think Dagwood is you. But of course! Why didn't I think of that? 
Even if it doesn't work, it'll be lots of fun. <laughs> No, we can't do that. Gosh, it was awful of me to even think of it. Oh, but we're going to do it. I'll give it away, Mr. Dither. Oh, Blondie. <laughs> How like a female woman. Okay, Blondie, let's go in. We can explain the whole thing to him. I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, hello, folks. Hello, Mr. Oh, I just got through. Well, did anything happen? Yes, and there's even more to come. Ah. Oh, poor Bumstead. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dinners, whenever you laugh like that, it always means trouble for me. I, I, hey, hey Blondie, hey, well, wait a minute, don't take my wallet. Oh, you'll get it back. Uh, Here, Mr. Dinners, you take this and give Dad with yours. Oh, sure. Here you are, Dad. Uh, wait a minute, well, what's going on here? Uh-oh. No use explaining now. Huh? Uh, come in. Oh, hello, officer. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm looking for J.C. Dithers, a Sergeant Battery. Well, Mr. Dithers, I guess you'd better go along with him. Yes, J.C., I guess you'd better go... Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> well, so you're Dithers, eh? <laughs> Blondie, he thinks I'm Mr. Dithers. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> you are Mr. Dithers. Yeah, that's right, I did a Blondie. <laughs> hey, you, what's your name? I'm Dagwood Bumstead. Uh, huh? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Dittish, you can't be Dagwood Bumstead. Don't tell me you're the guy I've been shaving every morning. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Dithers. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, well, wait a minute. Yes, it's no use trying to fool the law, J.C. Uh, J.C.? Are you calling me J.C., J.C.? <laughs> Blondie, uh, Blondie, uh, uh, tell the officer who I am. You're J.C. Dithers, all right. Uh, but I'm not J.C. Dithers. Mr. Dithers is Mr. Dithers. Blondie, tell him that I'm really Mr. Dithers. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my. Well, I know how to settle this. So do I. Take a look at his wallet. Oh, yes, and here's mine. See? That would bump. Oh, holy smoke. Can it be possible that I am J.C. Dithers, president of the J.C. Dithers Construction Company, prices to fit all budgets and stuff? Why, of course you are, Mr. Dithers. Oh, no, wait a minute. Come on, Dithers. Let's go to the station. Oh, Blondie, you know who I am. Why don't you tell him? Blondie, say something to me. Goodbye, Mr. Dithers. Oh, goodbye. Oh, all right. All right. I'll go, but first... Bumstead. Yes, sir? You're fired. <laughs> I won't stand for it. I'll have you know I'm a citizen. I'm a taxpayer. And I demand a little justice. Now, quiet down, Mr. Dithers. Yes. Look what you did to this man here. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. Look, two black eyes. Uh, oh, Gotta be ashamed of yourself, you Dad, I've never seen this man before in my life. Oh, what a fibber you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, Mr. Malone, you'll prefer charges, won't you? Oh, sure. I much prefer charges. Fine. Right. Now, uh, you'll be around here, won't you, Mr. Malone? Hey, sure, but I'm going to step outside for a moment. All right, Dithers. I guess this will teach you to lose your temper and hit people. No, oh, I'm innocent. I'm being framed. Get me a phone. Get me a lawyer. Get me a sandwich. Oh. Hello, Mr. Boyger. Well... Where's my 20 bucks? Listen, Punchy, you got the wrong man. That guy you identified is Dagwood Bumstead, not Mr. Dithers. He's not the... Oh, imagine that. Oh, my eyes aren't so good anymore. I got my stigma diddle. You've got to finish my this eyes. job uh, or no what? 20 bucks. You've got to bump into Dithers again, and this time hold on to him until the cop comes up. Hold on to him. Can I slip him a couple of punches while we're clinching? Eh? No. no. Oh, God. Now, come on. We're going over to wait outside the Roger Blunt Company offices, and Dithers will be sure to come along this time. We aren't going to make any mistakes. <laughs> okay, lady. You can go in and see Mr. Dithers. He's in this next room. Thank you. Don't take no hacksaws into him. We try to discourage that sort of thing. 
Oh, Blondie. Hello, Mr. Githers. Yeah, hello, dear. Oh. Blondie, what is this? Well, why are you calling me Mr. Githers? Well, you are Mr. Githers. Then what happened to this Bumstead guy? He was always hanging around me. <laughs> well, I'm just joking. You're just Mr. Githers temporarily. Yeah, oh, well, that's better. Mrs. Githers wouldn't be so nice to come home to. <laughs> I, I like you, Blondie. Oh, thank you, dear. Yeah. Well, you see, Mr. Berger hired a man to bump into Mr. Githers and annoy him until Mr. Githers hit him. Mm. Then they'd arrest Mr. Githers for assault and battery. Oh, and then he wouldn't be able to go to the meeting. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. You had to frame me, huh? Yes, dear. Are you comfortable here? Well, somehow I never really feel at home in a police station. But, uh, oh, Blondie, I want to get out. Oh, when are you going to spring me? I'm going stir crazy. Well, not right away. You see, just a minute ago, I overheard Mr. Berger telling this punchy person uh, that they'd try the same stunt again on Mr. Dithers. I have sort of a little idea. Yeah, but what is it, Blondie? Well, you'll see. But don't be surprised if you get a cellmate pretty soon. What did you find out, Mr. Dithers? Well, I sneaked into Blunt's office the back way and found out he hasn't come in yet. Still out to lunch. Oh, that's fine. There was a policeman hanging around the office, too. You see, Mr. Dithers, it's just what I told you. If you show up at the meeting, the policeman will grab you for that assault and battery charge, even though they do have Dagwood. Well, I'm cooked. I can't win now. And Punchy, the man who bumped into you, is right around the corner waiting. Well, I don't know what... Say, there's Mr. Blunt right now, across the street, waiting for the light to change. Oh, good. Now, you just stay here, and I'll be right back. I'm going around the corner where Punchy is. Oh, Bobby, for heaven's sake. Oh, oh uh, pardon me. Uh, could you tell me where I could... Oh, there's Mr. Dithers across the street. Uh, uh, who? Mr. Dithers? Yes, Mr. J.C. Dithers. Look, he's waiting for the light to change. Oh, excuse me, lady. Oh, boy, now I'll get the 20 bucks. Well, it's working fine so far. Bobby, he's going across the street over to Mr. Blunt. What? Now, watch what happens now. Do you look where you're going? Get out of my way, fatso. You get out of my way. Go ahead and make me. Okay. Stop. Yes, stop. Yes. They have police. Assault. Battery. Fire. Great Scott Blondie. Now they'll throw Mr. Bunt into jail. You've ruined the whole thing. How am I going to see him? Oh, it's very simple, Mr. Gizzard. They have a charge against you already. So you just go down to the station and give yourself off, and you and Mr. Blunt and Dagwood can have a nice, quiet business chat in jail. Okay, Mr. Dithers. You can wait in the next room until the judge gets here. Now listen, my name is not Dithers. The complaining party says your name is Dithers. Now get in there with your brother. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, you. Yeah, uh, who, me? You two guys ought to get acquainted. Mr. J.C. Dithers, may I present Mr. J.C. Dithers? Oh, no, oh, now no, wait a minute. That's so silly. Yeah, you're both the same person. Yeah. Oh, go back to your corn plasters. Mm. What was that? I, I, I didn't say anything. Uh, you know, it's sort of funny, isn't it? Well, that depends on your sense of humor. Mm. You're J.C. Dithers. You've certainly changed a lot since I saw you last. Eh? Well, listen, I'm Dagwood Bumstead of the Dithers Company, but uh, they think I'm Mr. Dithers. Well, I'm Roger Blunt. I was expecting to meet you and Mr. Dithers today, along with Berger of the Goliath Company. Um, now, this happens. For some reason, they think I'm Dithers, too. Oh, well, uh, look, you see, uh, Mr. Berger fixed that up. Uh, he got a man to bump into Mr. Dithers and start a fight so that Mr. Dithers could be arrested and uh, kept away from the meeting. Oh, I can't believe the Goliath Company would stoop so low. Oh, sure. Mr. Berger is really a stoop. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Oh, me? Oh, I'm just a fall guy. I, I took the rap for Mr. Dithers. Oh, nonsense. No company would do such a thing. Well, now, if Mr. Dithers hadn't shown up for the meeting, you wouldn't have given the Dithers Company the contract now, would you? Oh, no, of course not. Yeah. But I swear... Here comes the third, Mr. J.C. Dithers. Yeah. You let go of me. Let me walk here. Don't throw me in. I've stood for two, Mr. J.C. Dithers. But three is too many. 
Get over in the corner with that pile of junk. Look out! Oh. How untidy. If there's one more Mr. Dithers, I'm going to resign from the police force. Here, here. Oh, my. Here, Mr. Dithers. Let, let, let me help you up. Bullshit! Don't haul me up by my ear. Oh, excuse me. I thought it was your lapel. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Dennis, you, you'd better shake your head and get some of the glass and stuff out of your hair first. Oh, yeah. I'll shake it good. Oh, well, that's better. Um, oh, oh, excuse me, uh, uh, gentlemen. Now, let me see. Uh, the introductions. Yeah. Who do I introduce first? Mr. Dithers, Mr. Dithers, or Mr. Dithers? You know, uh, I'm one of them myself, aren't I? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Blunt. Hello, Dithers. You've already said hello to me, Mr. Blunt. No, oh, no, that's right. I thought I was still at Mr. Dinner's, huh? If you're not sure who you are, look inside your hat. I'm not wearing one, J.C. I hope Bumstead has explained to you who's responsible for all this. I understand that you blame it on Mr. Berger of the Goliath Company. Oh, well, now, wait a minute. I wouldn't want to say anything about a competitor. It wouldn't be decent. It wouldn't be fair. Uh, it just wouldn't be cricket, don't you know? Ha! Ah, 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 ah. I'll have to ask you to be quiet. Or I'll gently stick your finger in that cell door and slam it. Uh, carry on. <laughs> I wouldn't say anything about a competitor, Mr. Blunt. But Mr. Berger of the Goliath Company is a low, sneaking, cheap, chiseling, crummy... Mr. Robert. Robbers! But as I say, I wouldn't say anything about a competitor. <laughs> After all, it wouldn't be ethical. Hey, no. Well, I'm shocked that you and Mr. Bumstead accuse Mr. Berger of being behind this, uh, this, uh... Dastardly? Yes, dastardly trick. Yeah. And I can only consider your behavior to be, uh... uh... Dastardly? Yes, dastardly. Bumstead, yeah. don't help him so much. Yeah. <laughs> but Mr. Blunt. Berger really did try to keep me away from the meeting with you. Mr. Dithers, by your unethical comments about Mr. Berger, you have convinced me that the Dithers Company is not the company to do our work. Why, you bug-headed, addle-brain, pompous whole... Hey, 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 no, 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 Mr. Dithers. Why, let go of me, Bumpster. <laughs> well, now, now, don't pay any attention to him, Mr. Blunt. Uh, he's just uh, practicing up for uh, Mr. Berger, that's all, huh? Yeah. Well, here's another assault and battery case. Luckily for my sanity, his name isn't Mr. Dithers. Huh? Well, hello, everybody. Why, why, he's the man I had the scrap with. He's the man I had the scrap with, too. He's the man I had the scrap with, too. I keep pretending. Um, hello, Mr. Dithers. And you, Mr. Dithers. And hello to you, too, Mr. Dithers. Yeah. Hello there. How are you? Uh, yeah. See, the man who hired me to get Mr. Dithers to hit me wouldn't give him a 20 bucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And what was his name? Uh, Mr. Berger of the Goliath Company. Well, well, uh, <coughs> imagine that. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. We told you so, but you wouldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. Dagwood. Huh? Stop sticking your tongue out at Mr. Blunt. <laughs> well, I couldn't help it. Uh, where's Mr. Berger now? Well, uh, we had a little argument about the money, so I... I guess she's in the emergency ward now. Oh, oh what a pity. <laughs> oh, he didn't pay you, huh? Well, uh, yeah, in a way. He paid me, but not until after I rolled him off of his wallet. Well, gentlemen, uh, if you have the specifications and figures with you, I think we can hold our meeting right here in the police station. I want to check over a few things with you, but I can tell you in advance that our contract is going to the J.C. Dithers Construction Company. Well, you know, it's been a very successful business trip. Many thanks to you, Blondie. Well, thank you, Mr. Dithers. Uh-huh. But I think Dad would deserve a lot of the credit, too. Yeah. Uh, where could you find a better fall guy to frame, huh? Uh-huh. You got me there. Yeah. And, Dagwood, uh-huh. you know Mr. Dithers is going to give you some extra days off? I never get any of my own shopping done, then. All I do is carry bundles. You think I was a pack mule? I won't stand for a it. A bump set? Y- y- yes, sir. I'm going to make Blondie a temporary vice president of the Dithers Company. And you're going to be directly under her. No, oh, but, but Mr. Diddy. Bumstead. Uh, yes, Mrs. Vice-Pres. <laughs> you're 
You're going to go shopping with me next week. Ah, don't go away, folks. The Bumsteads will be back in just a moment. Colored vase someone sent us. Yes. Well, I wrapped it up and sent it off as a present to your Aunt Prissy. <laughs> oh, Dagwood. Huh? But, but, but she has awful taste, Blondie. She'll love it. Yes. But she's the one who sent it to us last year. <laughs> Radio service. 